so good evening, everybody. Um, just a <coughs> brief introduction. Um, we are from the engineering department of the Bell Orchid Hotel. Uh, if you guys have any information, uh, or if you need to know any information about uh, our hotel, all the information is on our uh, PowerPoint slide as well as some of the pamphlets that uh, we also handed out to you today. So just so you guys know a little bit more about us and what we do at the department, um, I am the uh, senior uh, principal engineer. Uh, my job is uh, pretty easy. I get paid a lot of money to do it. Um, all I really have to do is just oversee everything, um, and I sign off on it. And uh, I'll let uh, Steve here introduce himself uh, to what he does. <coughs> I'm Steve Ramos. I'm the principal engineer of the uh, the Orbit Hotel. I pretty much handle all the day-to-day -day operations. Um, so pretty much anything that's kicking down the field for Mr. Ortega, I'm taking care of right after. And I'm going to introduce you also to my uh, subordinate. My name is David Dice, and I'm the service director at the hotel. I'm pretty much in charge of the air conditioning, the pool, everything that has to do with that. And so we basically put David to work uh, while we sit around and uh, play chess. <laughs> so uh, just so you guys uh, know what uh, we're here about, we're just going to make a couple of recommendations. Uh, just. A couple of things that we are, we're taking a look at, uh, just so you can see what we're, uh, we're going to do. The biggest thing overall is safety. Uh, we don't want anybody getting hurt at our hotel, because uh, then you got to talk to legal. Uh, they don't have a sense of humor like we do. A uh, couple of key things that we made improvements on, uh, and some other things that we uh, think that we want to improve on, especially the pool, the spa, and the parking lot. That is also it, and the report uh, that we're going to send you. Uh, so one of the things that I was taught never to do is uh, in PowerPoint is never start off a PowerPoint presentation with uh, data. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a letter that I sent over to uh, the director. Um, he's got me on auto delete now, so I have to send him actual mail, uh, just a quote basically of what we uh, kind of want him to do. And so the Excel part that you're about to see here, just a quick overview of uh, what it is. Uh, just basically, like I said, everything that we need to go over uh, as far as uh, the facilities, the pool, the parking lot, the spa area, uh, and just an overall cost from January to March. Uh, a couple of key things that we wanted to take a look at and then some recommendations that we need to do. So more data. Uh, so you can see from January to March, everything that uh, we've uh, broken down, uh, a lot of money we're spending. So, key things. Uh, the elevator, we spent uh, five figures in that elevator and we're still paying a lot of money to fix it. Um, we need a new one, pretty much. Uh, there's, there's no way around it, we need to fix that. Uh, that's one of the key things that we took a, a look at and that's the most important important thing that we need to do. Uh, but of course, that's just my recommendation. I'm not in financial. Uh, so, like I said, uh, the, uh, the key thing here, uh, the elevator, the lobby, um, and just a couple of things that we're uh, finishing up, uh, as well as uh, renovating around the hotel room, uh, the front yards. Uh, the courtyards and uh, the pool and the spa area, like I said, were also very important to uh, what we needed to do. Uh, on the plus side, we did save a little bit of money uh, switching over to LED bulbs now, so cost of electricity is down, which is major for a hotel. And uh, this is more data that I have no idea what it is um, because this guy takes over. <laughs> <laughs> what you see here currently is also our subcontractor's database for the Bell Oak Hotel. Pretty much for anyone that we need um, from the general basics of electricity towards any kind of repairs, even recycling, any constructions of anything that needs to be built. That's pretty much the guys we use within our area as well as their contact information. Pretty much at their cost for an hourly rate. Uh, next one we're going to talk about, just like before, safety. Pretty much our number one concern. With great safety, it also helps reduce a lot of costs. It also increases our productivity, hence getting more work done plus uh, also increases our reputation for the hotel as well. So the safer we are, the more cost effective everything is going to be, more profitable the uh, 
organization will be a sub, it'll tell. Uh, next slide is gonna be for our kitchen staff duties. We also recommend them as well, safety is priority, so to make sure they're always practicing the proper safety procedures, uh, paying attention to their sharp knives, using proper safety equipment, uh, proper ergonomics towards carrying things around the kitchen, sweeping up anything broken or damaged within the area at all times, to once again, reduce any injury. Also, as well as the housekeeping staff, uh, we always recommend that they always uh, pretty much partake as well as any proper safety procedures. Use only approved cleaning products on there. Nothing from home or not authorized towards our bill of lading for anything that we're using. Practicing proper ergonom ergonomics towards lifting anything to again avoid any loss of productivity and high co raising costs. As well here, safety equipment is another thing. We always want to make sure this is operational at all times, ranging between our smoke detectors, even up to the slower times for the door elevators, or the elevator door, excuse me, to make sure no one's getting trapped in there, hence increasing lawsuits and such, which we're always trying to avoid. Also, guest room safety. I guess our most important asset pretty much towards the hotel. Obviously, they pay the bills, so the more we can fill up these rooms and keep them in there, the better off we're always going to be. Because Lord knows I'm looking for that pay rate every year. <laughs> so we always practice the... Uh, Proper functioning between our recordable locks, make sure firearms, or excuse me, fire alarms are up and running. Proper window locks, make sure guests are safe even from outside, um, intruders of such, and making sure always the rooms and hallways are always well lit, so that way they're not uh, assaulted in the hallways or anything like that. Pool and spa safety, just like my senior engineer also said earlier, it's nothing we've been working on. We want to make sure also the hours of operations are up and running and posted, so people kind of know when and to where to get out. Water depths, temperatures posted, make sure people know what they're jumping into, not get scalded and burned. Uh, non slip areas, non skid surrounding areas, so they're not slipping and falling to avoid those lawsuits. Making sure emergency contact numbers and other safety equipment are posted around any of the facilities. And also the parking lot safety, another big one here. We have our closed circuit cameras well up and running, as well as uh, day and night walkthrough patrols, pretty much all our security staff. And we always make sure I, uh, vehicles are properly ID'd so we know who's coming in and out. So everyone knows. So no one's pretty much a threat to the hotel itself. And once again, our overall safety. Make sure our, always our emergency plans are in place. Documentation of any kind of safety reports that we may have need that anyone needs to see and discuss. Uh, close relationship with any local law enforcement. Um, safety committees and briefings part of pretty much the uh, town hall setups on there so they know kind of how we operate. And any documentations or insurance carriers, maybe. That, that is it. Nice job, guys. Very nice job.